Okay, so we have problem number 11, and this is an image of the problem. So we first set up an LOL diagram for both masses, the M1 and the M2. And so the materials being used are the block in both of them, block. the earth, and the spring. But the spring's only in mass one, and then the surface. So for mass one, there's no kinetic energy because if if it's it starts off without movement, so it has no kinetic energy. But the potential energy, there is potential energy because if we say the ground is zero, then this has a height, so there has to be potential energy. So we're gonna put one, and then it has a potential energy for the spring as well because the spring still attached. So that would be three. And then over here, this, it, for mass one still, it still has, uh, oh no, now it has kinetic energy because it's in motion of three and potential energy still because it still has a height. And there's no string potential energy because it's separated from the string at that point. So for mass two, um, there's no kinetic energy as well because it's stopped at that point. There's no, it's not moving. And then once it starts, then there's going to be potential energy of four because there's a height. Um, and then there's no potential energy for the string because it's not, I meant for the spring because it's not attached to the spring because it's mass two. And then once it moves, it's going to have all kinetic energy because it's in motion and it's not touching anything so and there's no potential energy because um it's it has no height anymore because it's all the way down and then there's no potential energy for the spring because it's not attached to the spring either and So since we have our LOL diagrams, we can figure out which equation we're supposed to be using. And for the M1, first mass, these cancel out because they're the same, so we don't have to use that formula, but we do have the spring constant formula. And um, we have the spring constant formula and this potential energy for the beginning half. The problem asks us to use L's instead of um, for all of the kinetic problems. And on the other side of the equal sign, we have kinetic energy for both of them. So we're going to use M1 plus M2 instead of writing it twice. And to, if the question is asking us to find the velocity of the second mass, so that's why we have, this is like very important that we have the second mass as the main focus. So you get this by itself, we're going to cancel those out and then you have to do it to both sides. And this can go up there and it cancels this. So it's 2m over what we originally divided it by equals velocity squared. And to get the velocity by itself, we're going to take the square root of both sides. So our final answer is 2 mass, oh this is the second mass, my bad. Over both of the masses combined. That is the final answer.